This has to be the most difficult way to play Halo because it took me over an hour and a half to beat one mission. So what they had to do is just completely flip the sandbox upside down and make it completely chaotic. So when I loaded into Truth and Reconciliation to continue on my playthrough with Cursed Halo, they gave me the lagged out sniper rifle. Oh God, this is the, the load time sniper rifle, which if you don't know, when you shoot, it takes at least a second for it to actually happen. Got him. And they give me the bent shotgun. I mean, look at where that reticle is. That's not natural. But after slaying out a few enemies in the initial area, I picked up a red plasma rifle thinking it'd be a red plasma rifle, but it ended up being just a pew gun. Oh my, what is this? <laughs> the sound effect? Oh my God, this is the most ridiculous sounding plasma rifle ever. Yeah, it literally says pew pew when you shoot. Once I finally made my way forward <laughs> to take on the ridge where like the turret is and stuff like that, uh, the enemy thought throwing a Bukaki plasma grenade was the right move and it turned out to be just that. Oh my God, my enemy, oh no, my friendlies. Oh my God, what kind of says? Random, it's just random. Oh, killed them all apparently. Luckily, I found a cache of Minecraft weapons laying around. We got the crossbow with some TNT. And I found this combo rather effective in Cursed Halo. Oh my God, this Minecraft crossbow is lethal. Oh my God. But you know what? One thing that wasn't effective was the crash gun that I found. Oh God, this one says crash. I kind of want to try it out. They said it was supposed to crash the game, but will it actually? And well, I learned. Oh my god, this crash gun. <laughs> Absolutely wrecked. Look at him go. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's incredible. Oh no. It's multiplying. It's multiplying. It's go. Oh my god, what is all this? Oh no, no, push me off the edge. No! It's go. Oh my god, it's multiplying. At first, it was all fun and games. Oh my goodness. No, I killed myself. Yeah, I learned that one the hard way. The chaos that's ensuing right now. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'm trying to live through all this. I can make it. I can make it through. I can make it through. It's launching me across the map. Uh, my game just crashed. With the insane amount of lasers going off, I finally learned my lesson. So I restarted a checkpoint and oh no. Oh no, not again. Oh my god. Oh my god, not again. We just started. It happened again and again. Oh my God. So I figured, okay, I need to restart my game because when the enemy team has the crash pistol, it's impossible to finish. Oh my absolute freaking God. But then I quickly learned that's not effective enough. So I needed another restart. What up, Green Skull? I finally gave in and just had to completely start the mission all over again, which was obviously just straight pain. All right, Truth and Reconciliation Part 2, because the game kept on crashing. Now in Cursed Halo, you have these potions that are in the game, and what Infernal Plus said, he's not gonna tell you what they actually do. But in this gameplay, I actually learned what the red potion does. I did pick up the push gun, and I was having a ton of fun with it though. That's one way to push him. Yeah, push him off the map right there. There we go. I'm cyberbullying you straight off the map right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at it go. <laughs> Still didn't learn my lesson. Eventually I cleared out the area enough times over to where then the hunters finally spawned in. With Cursed Halo, it's a totally different experience. Oh my gosh, how's that not? He's up in the tree. Oh no. Can throw him out of it? We keep shooting him like out of the map. There we go. He's just gone. He's just gone. But the good old fashioned sidestep maneuver still works in this game. Oh my God, that shotgun absolutely <laughs> ruined that. Oh my God, he's still going. Eventually he finally got up into the ship took out some RGB Covenant, told Sergeant Johnson I'd be right back, took some crazy ass drugs in the green potion because it made everything twitch and I started going super speed. What was that? Which gave me enough time to open up the gate for Sergeant Johnson and crew to come in, but then the Marine AIs threw in a D20 grenade, which completely ruined my plans. Oh no, that's like a 20, that's a D20 grenade. What's gonna happen? No, you blew up the whole freaking level. 
Damn it! Finally got through that section, but then I definitely had some grenade issues. Oh my god, it got me again. Oh my god, why is it so bright? Oh. What are these? Oh no, it hit me! Finally cleared out enough RGB Covenant to where it brought on the other hunter fight, and these guys are like crazy acrobatic. It just, it just, it was just confetti that grenade. Why are they doing 360s on me? Eventually cleared out those guys, but then I found probably the most cursed gun in Cursed Halo. Oh my god, I. I picked up an upside down magnum and this is, oh my God, this is so cursed. So like it absolutely inverts every bit of your controls. There we go. And I felt like brain.exe was about to break trying to play with this gun. So I'm playing on mouse and keyboard, so WASD. So the S is forward, left and right are switched. Oh God, and so is your aim. Oh God, no, this is the worst. Why did I pick this up? Why did I pick this up? No! No! That might be, this might actually be the most cursed weapon in all of Cursed Halo right now. Eventually I had enough, I had to go something a little more straightforward. It's funny, but Jesus Christ it is just most like backwards thing literally to use within this game. There we go, wind up assault rifle. I could, I could, I can use this. This is something I can wrap my small gamer brain around. But I was still feeling risky and decided to play with the odds when it came to throwing a grenade on this elite. And well, it just made things more difficult. Oh my God, the grenade spawned a hunter. Are you kidding me? Hey, I careful. There we go, the grenades. Still haven't got him, are you kidding me? Oh, there you go, he wrecks himself. Okay, that makes it way easier. But my RGB plasma rifle was not exactly up for the fight when it came to the Minecraft elites. Imagine just regular elites, but be able to throw TNT grenades, which are one hit kills, and so the flanking logic of a regular elite, it made things difficult. But I did manage to pick up one of their diamond swords and I had to get a little depression out. That's right, run in fear of my Minecraft sword. Eventually got to the prison cell where Captain Keys was held, but there were some elites in the way and I had to do some Halo science does the Minecraft sword in Halo do better than the sword in Combat Evolved? Can my sword beat their sword? Let's see. Damn! No, it doesn't! Damn. Yeah, it didn't exactly work out in my favor. But I did finally test out my Gordon Ramsay knife skills and cut down the last invisible elite. Come for that invisible elite. There we go. One shot. One swing, one kill. Saved Captain Keys. Somehow he understands saying Healy. I overheard the guards talking about this ring world. And delivers convenient plot information. They call it Halo. Ah, ah, he said it, he said it. Then was back into the fight. More invisible leads come chasing me, but I was like, I got a super plasma grenade. What's the worst that can happen? Oh no, that might be a bad grenade for my friends. That might be a bad grenade for my friends. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Yeah, I can kill my entire squad with one grenade. Hey, I got the elites of success. Eventually, I made my way to the end of the mission, got keys in the ship, we left, and that's why it took me an hour and a half to be Truth and Reconciliation.